Okay, now we can continue on. I wasn't recording before. Now we can continue <laughs> our playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV. Hi, Darcy. No problem. Lurk away. Oh. Wait, where did he go? Uh... This way? Do, 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 do. So, <clears throat> insert name here has entered the Carline Canopy. Meeting someone perchance? Or could it be she means to board an airship? Pray look for her within. If she is not on the upper floor, try the landing area below. One of mine is stationed there, and she may have seen something. Ephem, Eph, Eph, Ephemy is her name. I shall remain here in case that person reappears. Hey, Jen. Okay. Ephemy? <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm guessing they're downstairs. That would make sense. I don't think they would tell me... Oh, possibly go downstairs if they weren't down here. <laughs> there they are. I need to get a new minion out. Let's see here. Let's try one at random. I've got, what is this, uh, it's like a cube with bat wings. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> what did I just pull out? <laughs> uh, bat box? <laughs> okay. Such an unexpected pleasure. What brings you here? A social visit, you say? How pleasant. No, she didn't come this way. I've noted every passenger, and none bore any resemblance. Well, don't let me keep you. Uh, maybe back up the stairs? Ba -ba 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 -da -ba 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 uh-oh. Trouble music. Okay. Nowhere to be seen, you say? And you are sure she did not board an airship? I'm technically not sure about that, actually. Hmm, she did not come back out either. Where in the seven hells should, uh, could she have gone? The roost. How could I forget? Greetings, good sir. Might I interest you in some... Muntai tonic? Perhaps another time, friend. Wait, that necklace. You are a shinobi of, Dino of Doma. The woman you seek has left Gridania by way of West uh, Shore Pier. She was attired as a merchant, but these eyes are not so easily deceived. You may wish to take your search to the East Shroud. Rest assured that we shall continue to support you from the shadows. Okay. Thank the Twelve for the Domans. Were it not for their unique talents, a ro royal... Royal uh, <laughs> would have disappeared without a trace. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Um, uh, nothing good for me, I don't think. Oh, I got some triple cream coffee. Cool. Uh -huh. Uh, 
All right. Our hunt leads us to the East Shroud. I suggest we follow... I don't know how to pronounce this name. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Example and take uh, the ferry from West Shore Pier. You'll doubtless wish to make certain preparations. See to them while I go on ahead. I shall wait for you at Sweet Bloom Pier. Oh, we're actually gonna take a ferry? Been a minute since I did that, okay. Maybe that's the only way to get there. Uh, the person we're chasing, R-O-I, oh, wait, R-O-A-I-L-L-E, or something like that. Ryu? I'm hoping somebody will say it in like a voice acted scene so I can... This way, my friends. Your quarry makes for the Hawthorne hut. If it is truly the one we seek, we can expect that she means to make contact uh, with her guardian masters there. An explanation is in order. You are no doubt aware that the Garleans have their own method of communicating over great distances. Well, our ingenious friends at Garlan Ironworks have provided us with devices which disrupt these communications, and we have installed them around the city-states. In so doing, we have made it difficult for Imperial agents to correspond with their masters. Um... Would thus <laughs> have no choice but to rendezvous with their Imperial contact directly. Yet as, uh, yet, as a well-known face in the Immortal Flames, she cannot move about the Thanalin uh, without being recognized. It would all—it would only be a matter of time before someone saw through her disguise. Right. It is for this reason, I believe, that she has chosen the Black Shroud for her clandestine meeting. The Elizin, 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 um, are a common sight here. And her comings um, and goings are not like to turn any heads. As my scouts tell it, the Guardians have sent agents with a mind to destroy the devices and render such direct uh, contact unnecessary. Fortunately, our shinobi have thus far been successful in rebuffing their efforts. This is it. We need only make for Hawthorne's hut and catch... <laughs> something or other in the act. Okay. Oh, it just wants me to go back over here then. Huh? Okay. So they are over here to the west somewhere. This area is pretty. All the like the wildflowers and stuff growing. My people report that our quarry has departed for the bramble patch. The ivy returns to the gnarls uh, whence she came, but perhaps it is all for the better. 
To convict somebody, uh, someone of her, st of her standing, we will require damning evidence against her. What could be better than to catch her in the act when she meets with her Garlean masters? My countrymen and I shall wait, uh, shall lie in wait in the shadows. Tread warily, my friends. Okay. So we're gonna try and catch her in the act, essentially. You know who. <laughs> Y'all are gonna uh, probably be a bit shocked by this, but I have like never read any of the Harry Potter books and I've only seen bits and pieces of a couple of the movies. <laughs> Not that I don't think I would enjoy it, I just have never actually like... Yeah, I've just never actually checked it out. <laughs> I think I watched a good chunk of like the first movie, maybe. Just beyond, they are in conversation with an individual clad in the manner of an adventurer. An Imperial intermedi inter in Intermediary, no doubt. This is it. With me. Who's, who are they going to be talking to? Thancred again? Okay, <laughs> Thancred has betrayed us again. Aha. Flame Marshal. Eline? Eline? Uh, you are under arrest for trees and an espionage. You were followed. You fool. Who are you? <laughs> Not so fast. Don't even try it. What? 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 Oh. Cool. Hmm. You are unarmed, my lady, and scarcely garbed for battle. But if you wish to fight, you are welcome to try. What is the meaning of this, Captain? Would you arrest me for strolling in the Twelfth's Wood? When last I looked, that was no crime, and neither was uh, conversing with passing strangers. You would feign ignorance, then. Very well. If you do think of something to say, there will be plenty of time to say it later. Now, come quietly, or I shall make you a wish you had. I will offer you no struggle. After all, I have not to hide. Huh. That look though, do you see that look? Even a warrior of their renown could not have hoped to escape by force. Despite her claims, her surrender does not bespeak innocence, but an awareness that her position is untenable. With the ivy thus uh, uprooted, it is to be hoped that the tendrils she entwined around the immortal flames will gradually wither and die. Mayhap then the people of Ulda uh, will have the grand company they deserve. But let us speak of the present, if I may ask. What will you do now, Solitary? 
I figured I'd go back to the inn and sleep. Oh, oh. so the scions seek a way into Iceheart's sanctum. Then I dare say you are eager to return to the Rising Stones. Pray, do not let me keep you. Fear not, my countrymen, and I shall tend to the aftermath. You need not waste your talents here. And speaking of talents, have you considered training in the art of Shinobi? You have the aptitude for it, I believe. So please give it some thought. Till next time, my friend. Hmm. I'll consider it. Okay, I think that's my return point. Mordona, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> Is it in, in here? It's like Thancred's giving a speech or something here. What do you what do you got to say? It was a team effort. And I was the one who What's he referring to a team effort? <laughs> okay, Minpilia. Welcome back, Solitary. I understand that Alfino had a task for you. May I ask what it was? Charges of treason and espionage against Eline? Eline? Um, I can scarce believe it. Could there not have been some manner of misunderstanding? No, it avails us not to dwell on it. Whatever the truth may be, we must trust to the authorities to uncover it. Let us speak of another matter. I am pleased to report that we have made progress in our efforts to find a way into Iceheart's sanctum. Excellent. Minfilia has never been one to hesitate. <laughs> Minfilia has never been one to hesitate when it comes to asking others for aid. That much I can attest to. <laughs> Minfilia has definitely never hesitated to ask me to do something. Okay. As you may recall, Iceheart used to use the Aetheride in the depths of Snowcloak to teleport a short distance to the west, most likely to a sanctuary of some description. It is there that we suspect she means to summon Shiva, using the crystal she stole from the house for... I can't remember how to say that. For Tem? For, for Tom? Or something? Uh, Caravan. The heretics believe that they are bringing about the second coming of their patron saint. But if, as we suspect, they mean to hold a summoning ritual of the kind employed by the beast tribes, it seems likely that the result will uh, be something more akin to a primal. Suffice it to say that uh, they must be stopped, and stop them we shall. But first, we must surmount the obstacle that Iceheart has placed in our path. Ordinarily, it would be a simple matter to tap into the established ethernet and thereby follow our quarry. However, despite our best efforts, we have been unable to ascertain uh, the position of the Aetheride to which she teleported. Our prevailing theory is that she destroyed the second Aetheride upon arrival, a reckless, a reckless desperate measure, but also an effective one. After discussing the matter at length with Urianje, <laughs> we have concluded that uh, we lack the expertise to develop a solution. Which is why we have called upon the aid of one who does uh, one who does possess such expertise, a colleague of ours who is currently en route to Revenant's Toll from Charlian. She should be arriving within the hour. Hmm, who's it gonna be? Uh, since you are here, mayhap we could welcome her together. I am certain she would appreciate the gesture. Let us make our way to the northern gates and await her coming. Okay. the north. Da -da 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 -da. 
What everybody have for dinner today? Anybody have anything good? A burrito. Nice. Uh, which direction is north? <laughs> Arby's, huh? Salad isn't boring. What kind of salad? Music time. Who's this gonna be? Apple, bourbon, tenderloin, and rice? Fancy. <laughs> there are different kinds of salad, yes. There's a few different types, yes. <laughs> Wait. Minfilia, am she, I right? She kind of looks like Iceheart. <laughs> Wait. But not the same. I can't remember what Iceheart looks like now. None other. I bid you welcome to Revenant's Toll, and thank you for traveling so far on such short notice. <laughs> As if I could ever say no to Urianje. She's got the, like, the scion, what do you call that thing, where they, like, see stuff, this thing, whatever this is. Moonbreeder is an accomplished Charlian scholar, and an authority on etherite technologies. Moonbreeder. She has played an invaluable role in our search for a means to capture Asian souls. She's very tall. That's what I'm noticing. <laughs> Charmed, I'm sure. Mm hmm. <laughs> I feel like I need to dye my clothing like blue to match with everybody else that I'm hanging out with currently. Do I have any blue dye? Uh, I've got kind of like a light blue. I need like blue blue. Something like... Kind of like that. I actually really like this color here. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that later. Let us return to the Rising Stones. We have much to discuss. Trying to dub it to eat blue dye. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I gotta give you credit for that. Okay. <laughs> um, I used to... <laughs> I'm going to date myself here a little bit, but, uh, does anybody remember the, like, the on-demand music video channel? I think it was called, like, The Box or something like that. If you're here in the States, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, a long time ago. If you're not familiar, you could like, I think you'd like call in and you'd pay to request like a music video or something like that, that would play. 
And I remember that song being one of the ones people requested a ton during that time. That music video. heard Ida's oh, longer, voice before. Sister. A joyous reunion indeed. Well, of course it is. Moon and I are like twin sisters. Uh, not identical twins, though. That's for Save sure. Save in appearance and aptitude. <laughs> Papa Limo knows what I'm talking about. There we go. Everyone, if I could have your attention. Sure. We have with us an esteemed guest who has come from Jalian to assist us. Where is Charlene? I don't know if I've been there before. I bid Moonbreeder join us here that she might share with us her extensive knowledge of etherites. Also, as many of you are already aware, she has been overseeing our research into white orosite. A sample of which she has been good enough to bring with her. Okay. Well, I had to come, didn't I? You'd have to be bloody daft to turn your nose up at a chance like this. Where better to conduct my final tests than a land so steeped in ether you can taste it? <laughs> I'm Atari old. <laughs> That's like, uh, when people ask how old we are in real life, we should just, uh, do it by, uh, stating, like, the game console we most relate to, or our first gaming console. <laughs> I'm Atari. I'm Genesis. I'm Super Nintendo. <laughs> Tis plain the passage of the years hath done little to dampen thy youthful spirits. So are these two like a thing? And nothing at all to reform thy youthful manner. I'm making these two a thing. Rianje and Moon. They're probably gonna be like siblings or something, and then I'm gonna be real embarrassed. Okay. <clears throat> well, maybe. Oh, Rianje, where in the hells have you been hiding? Maybe they are. Uh, unhand me. <laughs> That's me when someone tries to hug me. I come all this way, and that's what you have to say to me. These two have some history, don't they? I much preferred when you were pleading with me to drop everything and hurry to your side. What was it you said? None save thee can satisfy this need. <laughs> what need are you talking about? <clears throat> Go on. And Grant wants to hear. <laughs> yeah. Thine artless attempts to misrepresent mine all too innocent motives do thee little credit. <clears throat> Mine intent, as well thou knowest, was but to impress upon thee the gravity of the circumstance. Lest thou doubt, a deiform entity shall shortly be summoned, save if thou and no other grantest my compeers thine aid. You still haven't found it, then, your missing etherite? Nah. We have not. No. We know mm. that Iceheart teleported to an etherite not far from the first. Yet, even after careful analysis, we could not locate the second beacon. Uh, just checking the chat here. Um, I think there were actually what they called Pong consoles. Like, Pong existed, like, before it was... 
like they actually had like a separate little thing that you could hook up that's like actually you would all it did was play pong i think those were like some of the first gaming things ever actually we now suspect that the heretics destroyed the second etherite to impede our pursuit our allies continue to scour Snowcloak for Ice Hot Sanctuary, but we have no guarantee that they will find it. Yet it must be found, for even now Ice Hot prepares to call upon Saint Shiva. Right. I'm sorry, but if the Etherite's been destroyed, then that's that. Moon seems like they could be like a like Shiva in in human form. Although. You're absolutely sure she used the first etherite, are you? She didn't just use teleportation magics? It seemed like she used the etherite. One of our own bore witness to her escape. I can say with absolute certainty that Iceheart used the etherite. That was me. <laughs> can someone translate what she said? might be a way, so long as the ethereal current is still flowing. The answer to that Truly. is no. No one How? can translate that. We use the current to recreate the beacon. Okay. As you know, etherites are a bit like lighthouses. We use them to reconstitute our physical forms when crossing the ethereal sea. Without them, we'd lose all sense of direction and our essence would dissipate. I technically already lose all sense of direction even without teleporting, so... However, we don't rely solely on these beacons. There are currents of ether which flow between them, currents which help guide us to our destination. Now, these currents will gradually dwindle away to nothing if an etherite is destroyed. But, if even a sluggish flow remains, we could theoretically use it to direct a surge of concentrated ether towards the void left by the beacon, and thereby fill it up again. Hmm. Seems kind of like following, following like a warp trail in like Star Trek terms. Like opening the floodgates to fill a dry riverbed. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, but would we not need a veritable reservoir of ether? In concert, we might manage to channel a sufficient volume, yet that is not my chief concern. To direct the flow of so great a volume of ether with the requisite precision would be a nigh impossible task in itself. Or you, maybe. I barely succeeded in facilitating travel to an unattuned beacon. That which you describe sounds considerably more difficult. Hmm. And dangerous. Every person who has attempted to teleport in this fashion has died in the process. They, however, did not have white aura sight at their disposal. Hmm. I can use it to channel all the ether you can give me into the etherite. However, white aura sight cannot retain ether for an extended period of time, so we would need to infuse it immediately beforehand. Okay. Just so you know, I'd confidently give this plan better than even odds of success. And if the worst comes to worst, your people won't suffer. So we're talking like 51% chance, is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Though it risk the lives of our best and brightest, we have not the time to seek other options. If the ethereal current still flows, we shall carry out Moonbreeder's plan. So you're saying there's a chance. That's the spirit. Let's roll the dice. I wonder who's going to have to volunteer to do this. <laughs> Lucky me. What did we get? We got some bacon broth for doing that. Huh. What is bacon broth? It sounds kind of just like, is that just like the leftover grease from when you cook bacon? <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> the instruments of our deliverance. 
I'm ready. I've already informed Alfino of our plan to recreate the beacon in in the manner Moonbrida uh, described. He agreed that despite the inherent danger, it represents our only hope of success. He also said that he wished to meet with you at Snowcloak before proceeding. I expect you will find him waiting uh, for you there when you arrive. Um, I want you to know that I appreciate everything you have done on our behalf, Solitary, and that I have faith you will return to us, as you always have. Snowcloak. I think that's where, oh, that's where I did that last dungeon at, right? Pretty sure. Alright, so what's the best way to get there? Dragon head, it looks like. Chocobo. I'm sure some of y'all are probably excited for that. Good to see you, Solitary. I was starting to wonder if you were having second thoughts. Uh, he attends to the interrogation. But I shall not distract you from the matter at hand. We can discuss uh, the ivy upon your return. June 28th, early release. Okay. I trust that by which I mean to say the others are waiting for us at the Aetherite. After you. Nice. Ooh, okay. Are we gonna get to see Shiva in this episode? Oh, with our powers combined? ready. Tuning to the ether right now. Heal for the current and try to locate the beacon. Okay. We have done all we can, Solitary, for now. Let us withdraw. Huh? So did it not work? When your final preparations are complete, you must seek out the beacon we have created. If, by the grace of the Twelve, you arrive safely, you must stop Iceheart before she summons Shiva. Are the graphics updates that they're doing, are they more just like character models? Are they environments as well? Like, what's the, uh... Does anybody know what the plan is for that? I saw something I feel like like just like a screenshot of like uh like uh like a change to like the faces or something. We cannot ignore the possibility that our actions have alerted Iceheart to our plans. Should that be the case, she may attempt to hasten the completion of summon of the summoning ritual. And if she succeeds, you will have little choice but to face Shiva in battle. Knowing this, uh, knowing little of this uh, saint, I cannot say if your own strength will su suffice, and so I would encourage you to call upon your allies. 
Some may have reservations about wagering their lives on the success of Moonbrita's experiment, but others will surely agree that desperate times call for desperate measures. Ah, before you assemble your party, pray speak with that, uh, with that knight. I believe he has a message for you from Sir Emmerich. Characters and environments. Oh. I'll... I, I'm just focused on getting to heaven's word at this way. <laughs> There's so much game in between me and Dawn Trail, like, it's hard to even fathom. Uh, Sir Emmerich regrets that he could not be here in person, and asks that I read to you this letter. Oh, is this going to be a dungeon just going straight in to fight Shiva? Ishgard faces an unprecedented threat, yet in our hour of need, it is not her knights who stand poised to defend her. Solitary Saturn, the warrior of light, savior of Eorzea. Your deeds this day shall not be forgotten. Where others would flee, you choose to remain. And where others would falter, you, you rise to the challenge. Where others would use their gifts for selfish ends, you wield yours in service to a greater cause. May Halone Halone, bless uh, you with good fortune and see you safely home. Uh, some sort of amphitheater heart is now accessible? Okay, so... Dungeon time, huh? Okay, I don't know if any of y'all want to go into this with me. I'm assuming it's a party dungeon thing. If anybody in the chat wants to do this with me. I can wait a minute. <clears throat> Heaven's Word is not too far off. Yeah, I feel like I've got to be getting fairly close here on a Realm Reborn. You know how long I've been waiting to be able to watch the Heaven's Word trailer? <laughs> I'm assuming that tap on the shoulder is, let me join the party. <laughs> So where is this located, though? Like, is it an actual location, or I just have to join it this way? Join. Okay. Interesting. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Go time. All right, Shiva. Oh, is healer usually the hardest, like, party member to recruit? I feel like, uh, we're missing... What? Okay. There we go. Cool. We're just going straight in, it looks like. You should never have come here, warrior of light. I labor only to Music forge time. a lasting peace. A peace you would deny us out of ignorance and blind faith. No matter. If it is our fate to be at odds, then it is mine to strike you down. Are you going to transform into Shiva? We whom gods and men have forsaken shall be the instruments of our own deliverance. Music. Partake of my flesh. Fill this vessel with your light. Walk amongst your brothers and sisters once more. Oh, Saint Shiva, still the hatred within our hearts and bless us to eternal oh, oh. grace. <laughs> Look at 
Look at that hair. Icicle hair. <laughs> okay. Are we ready for this? Sorry, I'm sure I just made everybody wait because I was watching the cutscene, but... First time ever fighting Shiva. Let's go. Not a little bit here. Uh. Uh. What am I supposed to do here? I'm not sure what else to do there. Uh-oh. The music is good, though. Oh, snap. Okay. Rise to join in the chorus, my brothers? Oh. I'll take this one. ended up in front of Shiva, and that was bad. Note to self, do not go in the front. Embrace the serenity, renounce the hatreds that consume. in the wind. Oh, that was cool. Oh, the music change. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Cool. Yeah, it was like a transformation. Huh. Everybody left. Someone said last time I needed to do commendations. Maybe I can't do that in this dungeon. I'll do that in one of the others whenever I get a chance. I need to just remember to do that. Okay. The song is called Oblivion. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna do a rate the primal video or primal theme song video at some point if y'all would be interested in that fool blind bloody fool you of all people should understand the suffering war begets. That no sacrifice is too great if it brings an end to the violence. 
Mine is the righteous cause. You fight in a war you do not understand. A pawn of liars and schemers. It's possible. And they are no less ignorant than you. Following the creed of their fathers without question, never thinking to ask why. Mmm, the music. Trapped in a delusion of their own creation and blind to the truth. Redemption is not beyond us. Hmm. We who walk before may lead those who walk after. To those who walk before, to lead those who walk after. She said the thing from the song. <laughs> The keeper of the lake. See with eyes unclouded. Seek the keeper of the lake? Do do not squander mother's gift. Huh. Interesting. She's talking like, uh, is it Heidelin? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Heidelin? Heidelin? Now she's just gone. This arena is cool though. The setting for this fight. Oh, been a minute. And so the vessel withdraws. A predictable outcome. Huh. Nevertheless, La Habrea will be pleased. Who is this guy? How unfortunate. Hmm. Interesting. That fight was kind of, that was cool, like visually cool. Um, I'll have to try that on like some sort of harder difficulty at some point, because that felt a little bit easy. Maybe it's just because I was going in with like a bunch of experienced party members. I mean, I did get one shot and die, but still. By the 12, you're alive. I mean, of course you're alive. Why wouldn't you be? Iceheart did what? And you're certain about that, are you? Dravanians are skilled with glamours, after all. Look, if you say that's what you saw, I believe you. It's just that I've never heard of a primal being summoned like that before. Are you sure you're not injured? Head trauma has been uh, known to cause hallucinations, you see. No? Fair enough. I was only asking. That's like the first, like... Primal that we've come across that's like transformed like that. I wonder if that's kind of where they took the inspiration for Final Fantasy 16 from. Like people transforming into these like primals or summons, whatever you want to call them. If you ask me, there's not to be gained from mulling over the implications of your story in the freezing cold. Let's save it for the Rising Stones, eh? I'll get everyone to meet us there. Ah, but before that, you had best pay a visit to Whitebrim Front and speak with Alfino. He's probably worried sick about you. That, or he's busy planning, uh, playing at politics with the Ishgardians. Either way, I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you hale and healthy. Speaking of which, you don't have a headache or anything, do you? No? Blurred, vi blurred vision? Oh, no reason. See you again soon. That's their way of telling me what I just did was not safe. Okay, let's go to White Brim Front. Uh, 
looks like I need to fly over there. I'm trying to think of which one of the primal fights was most difficult that I have experienced so far at least. Honestly, I probably struggled the most with Ifrit just because I was so new to the game mechanics and had no idea what I was doing. Is he in here? There he is, and none the worse for the wear. Was there ever any doubt that the Warrior of Light would succeed? I think I speak for us all when I say I should like nothing more than to hear the stirring tale of your victory, if you would be so kind. Then we were too late to prevent the summoning. It was weird though, because she was like... Hmm. I got some stuff to think upon about that. Uh, but not too late to prevent further loss of life. An outcome worthy of celebration. And one for which we have solitary to thank. Yes, you are right, of course. Sir Emmerich, would, uh, we should be uh, content uh, with what we have accomplished. Look at Emmerich's sword, by the way. Um, I, for one, uh, could not have wished for a better outcome. Shiva is no longer a threat, and the heretics have been routed. Uh, there is a matter of Iceheart. There is the matter of Iceheart's escape, but she cannot run forever. Whether it takes days, weeks, moons, or even years, my knights will find her. In the meantime, is the caravan ready? The supplies that your men recovered have been prepared for transport, in accordance with your wishes. Rest assured that my knights will see them safely to Revenant's Toll. Of that I have no doubt. I take it these are the self-same supplies the heretics stole from the House Fort Fortem? Fortem? Uh, caravan. Less the crystals which comprise the bulk of the shipment, yes. Scarcely a fraction of that which was promised, but a meaningful contrib contribution to your cause all the same. Ah, uh, on an unrelated note, Solitary, might it trouble you to accompany me to Camp Dragon Head at your earliest convenience? Or what? Tis not for my benefit. A certain lord was most distressed when he learned of your intent to risk life and limb to stop Iceheart. It took half a dozen nights to restrain him. So somebody's worried about me. Men uh, give vent to their anxieties in myriad ways. Pray do not think less of him. Hmm. Who would be that worried about me? <laughs> it's Mount. <laughs> okay. Uh, there was something about this angle that made this mount look like huge. <laughs> but then you go to a different camera angle and it's like, it's still large, but it's not like as large. So Dragon Head is where they want me to go? Okay. I gotta see who was all worried about me. Oh, I just realized I have my alerts off. There we go. <clears throat> uh, where am I going? Down here, maybe? No. In here? Okay, here we go. Ah, you were worried about me, huh? What were you thinking? 
wagering uh, your very being on a dubious theory which might allow you to enter Icehearts, uh, Icehearts lair, knowing full well that she could have uh, sufficient forewarning to complete a ritual to summon Shiva anyway, and then and then engaging the abomination in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Okay. Uh, by the Fury Solitary. Is the stuff of ballads, a battle for the ages. Would that I had been there to fight by your side. Yet here I was forced to wait, condemned to wonder at the fate of a dear friend for a veritable and veritable eternity. I would not wish such torture on my most hated enemy. I didn't know we were this tight. <laughs> I didn't know we were this this close to friends. Uh, but you are here now, and that is what truly matters. Let us move on. Sir Emmerich wished to have words with you and Master Alpino in private. He awaits us in the intercessory. Hmm. The intercessory. Where is that? Uh, up here somewhere? Or over here? Here we go. Greetings, sir. I shall show you in at once. Darcy, your comment is slightly delayed on my end, so I'm just going to assume that you're talking about this guard, this gatekeeper here, as the best boy. <laughs> I know you're not, but that's what I'm just going to relate it to. Here we go. <laughs> Yes, my favorite character in the whole game is this random oh, NPC. The Holy See of Ishgard, allow me to express my deepest thanks. Never before have we been required to contend with a prime. Indeed, there were fears in some quarters that our knights might not be equal to the task. Yeah, that guy stands out in the snow while everybody else is in here by the fire. From what we have now learned of these beings, I can say with certainty that we would have lost a great many men had the Scions not intervened. True that. Then the argument for preemptive action should be self-evident. Perchance now you will reconsider my proposal that Ishgard move against Natalan. Ere we first met, a similar proposal was tabled, but the Holy See decreed that we were to observe and that military action should be taken only in self-defense. All things considered, it was not an unreasonable decision. Since the Calamity, two vigils have fallen to the Horde, while Garuda has never shown any inclination to storm the Gates of Judgment. Which is why this unprecedented crisis and its resolution may prompt a change in policy. Oh? You who have faced these primals know well the threat they pose. Ishgard did not. Not until now. And there is naught like a brush with death to change a man's outlook. Truth. At the very least, this should silence any lingering objections to our arrangement with Revenant's Toll. The Holy See may even feel moved to grant us its formal endorsement. So far as it is possible, the Scions shall be compensated for their service. We should be grateful for any aid you can provide. As a gesture of good faith, I shall withdraw my previous request. Your people are doubtless needed elsewhere. That will not be necessary. We too have a vested interest in watching Dravania's movements. I see. Once more, I must thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Sir Emmerich, if I may, do you truly believe that Midgard Zoma could return? I don't like the sound of that. The heavens are a window unto truth, but those who interpret their movements are not infallible. I requested your involvement as a precautionary measure. Those who interpret their movements, okay. But of course! You sought an excuse to compensate us from the first, uh -huh. mindful of what would happen if Revenant's toll were taken by your enemies. Ishgard is not wont to aid its neighbors, but that does not preclude it from manipulating them to serve its own interests. Mm -hmm. 
Choose your next words carefully. Ooh. Don't don't make her angry. Do you know what sort of man becomes Lord Commander of the Temple Knights? Best boy, <laughs> according to everybody. <laughs> okay. One who comes from good stock. I did not. Yet here I am now. Why do you suppose that is? Because I swiftly learned to tell the difference between words, deeds, and beliefs. You are correct, Master Leveo. Ishgard desires to see Revenant's toll flourish, as it would present a troublesome obstacle to our enemies from the south. We are so glad to be of use to you. As we are to you. Ours is a mutually beneficial arrangement, lest we forget. One born of necessity. The dragons grow more restless by the day, and the heretics harry us nigh without cease. Hmm. We have contended with such troubles for centuries, but there are limits to even our endurance. Yet as a pauper is loath to part with his meager possessions, the leaders of Ishgard are not wont to render up their trust to outsiders. But with perseverance on our part, they may yet be made to see the light. Nevertheless, one must take care when walking the road less traveled. Mm -hmm. Tread carefully. Wise words, Sir Emmerich. I shall make a point to remember them. I must apologize for my earlier outburst. I hope it will not sour our good relations. Hey, Peach. Not at all. You but spoke from the heart. I trust you understand that at times my duties may prevent me from meeting with you. On such occasions, my second in command will speak for me. And their name is? Lucia, at your service. Lucia. Hello, Lucia. Pray excuse our reticence. We are but wary of speaking too freely, lest our sentiments be made known to our enemies. Know that the Lord Commander and I are of one mind, for the sake of Ishgard and of Eorzea at large. I pray our peoples can put aside their differences. Those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. Hmm, I like that. Should aught befall one of our shipments, pray inform Lucia immediately. You may also relay to her any words you might have for me alone. Not being of Ishgardian birth, she owes no allegiance to any noble house, making her oh. as near to incorruptible as one confined in my homeland. Suffice it to say, I trust her completely, and so may you. So where did she come from? Which reminds me, Lord Orshafon, if you would be so kind. Orshafon. Orshafon. Certainly. In times such as these, trust is ever in short supply. Mayhap this will go some way to rectify the problem. The results of our investigation into the heretic's recent attacks, as well as our interrogation of the merchant you detained. Okay. Sir Emmerich, I cannot thank you enough. Think nothing of it. Ishgard may be many things, but it is no friend to Garlamov. Let's go. Did I not tell you to have faith, my friend? You didn't have any faith in me when I was going to fight Shiva. <clears throat> Road less travel. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the sound effect, I think, of this mount changing or something like lined up perfectly with the quest complete. Did y'all hear that? It was like, quest complete. <laughs> okay. That was crazy sounding. Uh... Oh, someone's blowing me a kiss.
lots of lots of them. Okay. Um let's talk to Alfino here. Um for one with reason to celebrate, Alfino looks rather grim. It would I still can't believe that I have still not seen Alfino's sister for like 50 hours of gameplay or something. <laughs> uh, they like split, went their separate ways, and it's just like, she's not in the story anymore. Um, it would seem we have... It would seem we have much to discuss with our friends at the Rising Stones. Um, if what you say is true, Iceheart's method of summoning Shiva defies all precedent. It necessitates a complete reappraisal re of the primal threat and of our approach to combating it. Moreover, there are grave ramifications if word of this incident reaches Imperial ears. The, the Garlean Empire believes that primals uh, are an inseparable menace, that their mere existence is a threat to this very star. Very star. As such, they deem any action taken against the beast tribes to be justified by default. Alfino's sister plays a prominent role in ARR, but it's an optional rate. Oh, okay. So I could find them if I did something. Okay. Imagine then if it be, uh, became known that it was not only the based tribes of Eorzea that could summon primals, but her civilized peoples as well. Any lingering objections to the Eorzean campaign would vanish overnight. Oops. Sorry, I'll accept that friend request in a second. Uh, but I speak unadvisedly. Come, Solitary. It is better that we continue this conversation in Mordona. Friend accepted. All right. They told me to go to Mordona, right? Mordona? Let me cheer this person on. Okay. Okay. 